Hey, it's uh, Dave Arman here at the NERI conference for IR Alert. I'm with Michael Boitler with SAP. He just did a great session on, uh, on sustainability and how to do integrated reporting as a corporation. Can you take us through a couple of the uh, takeaways for the IROs today? I think there's a couple of key points here. One, sustainability, it, it, it's really an indicator of how you run your company. So it gives a lot of context to what was pure financial data in the past. It really gives a risk, richness to it. And it's really, a, if you look at, for instance, your carbon footprint, it's a great proxy for how efficiently you're running your business and how efficiently you're using resources. When you look at other aspects of how you do business and how that works in sustainability, including human rights, supply chain, what kind of labor is making your product, what's the safety of your product, all those are key things that investors really want to know about. So sustainability is really a way not only to inform investors more, but to inform your other stakeholders that, are, that help keep your business vibrant and sustainable into the future. And so what are some of the trends in how the companies are reporting that back to investors? Well, you see a lot of integrated um, reporting. And, and integrated reporting I'm defining here is where you're incorporating um, the aspects of sustainability. Um, sometimes they'll call it ESG, environmental, um, social, and governance. When, when you're incorporating those aspects into your um, traditional reporting frameworks, um, to the investment community, such as annual reporting and other things. Um, one key difference is sustainability reporting is you're, you're also reaching out to a lot of other stakeholders, employees, NGOs, uh, could be re re reaching out to governments, um, as, as well as your customers. So I think you're seeing a lot of, um, for instance, South Africa is moving in that direction very strongly. Um, Denmark, uh, some other European countries are moving there. And right now, the SEC is looking at it as well. So it's a very, um, it's a new trend, but it's gaining a lot of momentum globally. And I think you'll see it getting pretty strong, prevalent in the U.S. over the next few years. Thanks, Michael.